Welcome back, first timers. But if you're new here, I'm David, and this is Terry. We're trying things for the first time, and you can too. We're getting out of town. We're packing up the trailer, we're grabbing Mr. Ramen Noodles, and we're gonna go spend the weekend at Big Lagoon State Park in Northwest Florida. All the paths and trail... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Terry was almost viciously attacked. Oh, I'm going home now. By a giant snake. <laughs> Let's go. Good morning, first timers. We made it to Big Lagoon State Park last night. By the time we got set up and hooked up and everything, it was a little bit too late to do any filming. So today, we're gonna get out there. We'll take a look at the campsite. It is a cold February morning. It is sunny, but the wind is bone chilling. So we're gonna try and stay warm, maybe make a fire and have a good time. But before then, we gotta make some breakfast. So I'm gonna fire up the grill. Terry's still inside getting all gussied up. But... Look who finally decided to join. Hey guys. So this is our site. We're in spot 57. It's a, it's a pretty long site and it's paved a lot of the other sites are gravel so i don't know how we lucked out to get this one but we got the looks like one of the only paved sites here there's about 70 rv campsites so we have nobody behind us it's pretty secluded for this site and we're right across from bathhouse. the bathhouse not the not the roman style bathhouse but regular style but it's a it's a really nice quiet campsite. Mm -hmm. It's it's off season right now, but if anybody travels an RV often, you know it's really hard to get campsites in in Florida pretty much any time of the year. So we kind of lucked out here. There was uh, a hurricane a couple years ago, Hurricane Sally, that came through and caused a lot of damage. So a big portion of this park is actually closed right now. So we're gonna go to the parts that we can go to and kind of give you a little bit of the lay of the land. So one of the open areas right now is an area for campers only. It's, it's called the Ute Camp area. It's for all the Utes. So like I said, it's a little bit hard to get campsites out here in Florida if you don't plan ahead because I think, because you're able to book out, I, I believe a year in advance. We can't plan that far in advance. We kind of like to fly by the seat of our <laughs> pants. So what yeah, we, we so what we've been able to do is try and find sites within like a week, uh, a week of when we want to go because people will cancel. There's a deadline to cancel to get a refund. So we kind of just scour the, the Florida website and then try and book through um, kind of short notice. Yeah. <clears throat> but like I said, this is a very quiet campsite. It's kind of tucked away. It's real close to the water. It doesn't seem as, as, yeah, it's as popular as some of the other big well-known sites in Northwest Florida. We've been to a few of them now and this just seems like kind of tucked away hidden gem. Cool. 
Yeah. Looks like maybe a place for like Campfire? Boy Scouts or yeah. some type of scouting adventure. Yeah. Let's scout it out. I we have I we have heard life. that there's alligators here. We haven't seen any, but it is pretty chilly right now. All the paths and trail. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh, Terry was almost viciously attacked. Oh, I'm going home now. By a giant snake. <laughs> I mean, did you see that? It was at least six inches long. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, all, that's it, folks. I'm going home. <laughs> so, like I was saying, the the trails and the paths seem pretty well maintained. This whole area got Smacked decimated over. by Hurricane Sally. So, the fact that it's even open is is a testament to all the time and effort that they put into this place. So the sites are pretty spread out. You don't have to worry about being right on top of your neighbor when you're camping, which is nice. And there's a playground, you got little kids. Super quiet here. The park is also popular for uh, stargazing and bird watching. And the boardwalk trail is just right across from the park. We're gonna walk down there and see how close we can get to the water. So as I mentioned, a lot of the park is closed right now. So as of February, 2023, make sure you check the website to see what areas are closed to see if that's gonna affect your travel plans. Still haven't found that gator yet. And it looks like throughout the park there's a bunch of different paths and trails you can take. They do have maps at the Welcome Center and just get a map and watch out for snakes. Okay well we thought this boardwalk area was open but it looks like according to that <laughs> walking dead barrier in front of us it looks like this is closed so i'm not sure if we're going to be able to get to the water from here we couldn't get to the water from the campsites because of the closures so you actually gotta just drive out out of the rv camp area then make a left and then you can get down to the boat docks and the beach so we're down at the boat ramp and picnic area just be aware that Pets are allowed in the campsite, but they can't be down here. And then also when they open up the area by the board, boardwalk, they're not allowed on the beach either. So that's a county ordinance, unfortunately. Sadly. But plenty of parking space. I bet this place really fills up in the summer and springtime. If we only had a boat. If we only had a boat. Here comes a nice boat. down here at the boat ramp and picnic pavilion. We thought it was a good time to check in with you guys and let you know what we think about the Big Lagoon State Park. Not to be confused with the Big Legume, <laughs> which a isn't a state park. Initial reaction? It's really quiet, which is nice. You don't want a bunch of rowdy people around. Sometimes you do. True. Uh, it's, it's really quiet. Uh, the campsites, like I said, are spaced out. It's pretty full for it being February, which is kind of surprising. Cause to us, it's still pretty, pretty chilly outside. Yeah, for, I mean, being down here in Florida now for a year, I think we kind of got used to it being a little bit warmer. So at 45 degrees, it seems terribly cold, but to anybody watching in the cold tundra north or any other area that's extremely cold right now, 45 degrees would probably be pretty awesome. Yeah. But beautiful sun out today. Yeah, the sun's out. We're having a good time. The campsite's about 75 or 80% full, so not not crazy busy, but even with that many people, it's very quiet. Mm -hmm. Everybody seems real friendly. It does seem like there's a lot more of the snowbird feel right now, but again, it's February. <clears throat> so like you saw, we're right on the intercoastal waterway, so water access, boat ramp access. If you have, if you're gonna be camping and have a boat, this would be a perfect, perfect, perfect location. location. Like we said, it does allow dogs, but the dogs, well, pets in general, but 
um, they're not allowed on the beach areas. We're very close to Pensacola Naval Air Station. Mm -hmm. So if you have access to that area, they have the Naval Aviation Museum. And that's probably an area that we might be taking you guys to here in the near future. And then just right across the border in Alabama, you have the USS Alabama, but then there's other uh, sites like Orange Beach, real close by so mm -hmm. great amphitheater mm -hmm. oh yeah I think I think all those places might be in our near future near future <laughs> campfire your favorite noodles <laughs> well, I think that just about wraps up our camping trip to Big Lagoon State Park in Northwest Florida. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, we were only here for a couple days. I know this place has a lot more to offer than we were able to experience, but it was a nice little overnight <laughs> trip. And Noodles had a great time. He loves camping and campfires. I would definitely recommend... All the, all the Florida State Parks that we've been to would highly recommend. This one is great. It's a little bit quieter than the other ones we've been to, but it's great. It's kind of a tucked away hidden secret. We would highly recommend to come out here. Yeah, especially in the summer. Yeah. Bet it would be really nice on the beach. Stay tuned for our next episode where Terry and I go experience the Pensacola Mardi Gras Festival for the first time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment down below letting us know where you'd like us to go next. First timers. High five.